So today I'm going to show you how to upload a file from the old site into the new site and make sure that the node number is there and then you can reach it afterwards. As well as a little bit about taxonomies which are not up and running as of yet the first part of August, um, but hopefully they will be here soon. So to begin with we're going to go to the old site, we're going to find a file that we'll need. So get this one right here, you can right click just click save as and we'll put it in here now what I've been doing is I just copied the title of the page control C that so it's saved on my uh, board and then I go back to this and I want to open up a new tab add content we're going to go down to policies and forms. Now uh, this is because we can title the node number which will show up as the web page. We can put a description in and we can categorize it with the taxonomies. Means so uh, I'll go ahead and show you that. Policies and forms. Now since we copy and pasted the title, all we have to do is press control V and that goes in there. This is where you can put the description. Sometimes you can take it right out of the document. Um, so we're just going to leave it blank for right now. Now, since I downloaded the file, I can go right to here. Let's see. There it is. Going to upload it. Now, this is different from uploading to just a basic page. Um, if you upload a file like this to any other basic page um, that doesn't have the categories um, under the taxonomies there, which I'm going to show you right down here, make sure that your audience is selected, ours is employee services. Now, these are the taxonomies, and they won't show up unless the node content type that you picked has them available which means that since we're putting in a forms and policies our forms taxonomy will come up and here are our terms oh, I'm going to put this one under faculty just because and I'm also going to put it in our forms library just because as I've been putting these in I've just been putting all of them under the forms library just in case we want a huge repository with all of the items that we have. Uh, it's not a bad idea. Now if you're going to be putting this under a book, this is where you would add it, right here. And you may not see all of these options if you're not an administrator, and if you don't, don't worry about them. It's less to hassle with. Um, but to put it in the book, you just click the one that you want. Um, but we're not going to put it in the book. Now the default for publishing is not published, so if I press save right now this wouldn't show up um, on the live website. So I'm going to go ahead and put publish because we do want it there. And then I'm going to click save and get rid of my download right down there. So here we have it, and this is the actual file right here, and any description will come up above it. And these are the two taxonomies that it's filed under. And you can click either of those and it will bring up the entire um, listing of all the other files that are in those categories. And I use categories and taxonomies, uh, it's the same word basically. But we're going to hover over edit and if you look down in the bottom left it says the URL with the node number. And this node number is 1726. And that's a really easy way of finding the node number on Google Chrome. Um, don't know if it's the same with IE or Firefox. I'm sure there are uh, similar ways of doing it. But 1726 is the node. Otherwise, to find the node, you just click Edit. And you'll see up here, it comes up. So we're going to control C that to copy it into our book, or sorry, copy it onto our uh, board. And uh, we're going to go into my example page that I have a few things running here. 
and we're going to edit it to put this in. Uh, we can directly link to this node by doing the following. Now, this is kind of hard coding or direct linking. Um, it's different than using the taxonomies. The taxonomies just basically characterize it, categorize it as something, and this directly links it. If that makes sense. So I'm going to press Control K, or scroll up to the top and look for the chain icon. And right here, all we have to do is press Control V, and our known number will come in. Now, if it's fairly similar to what you're already looking for and it's kind of a moving along thing you can have it open in the same frame but if it sort of um, diverges or if it's like a file like this sometimes it's nice to just have it open in a new window or a new tab so I'm going to press that and then click insert and I'll go all the way down to the bottom and click save and now when I click on our link, it will take us to that file. Here we can open it up, and there's our file. And it's now hosted by the Drupal CMS rather than um, the old URL up here. It'll be up there. So, and that will stay current as the site goes live. Anyway, that's, uh, that's all I have. Hopefully it's answered uh, many, if not all, of your questions. Um, feel free to email me if you need anything. Owen at archetype5.com. Thanks.